In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make eight flower options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click a stems with the leaves comes out, you can see here. And on my next click, each uh, the flower with options will come one by one. So when I click, you can see here, this is the first flower with option A. You can add the details. Then the option B with different color combination, C, D, then option E, F, g and h likewise i have created one more slide where i have just added only five options so depending on your requirement you can choose the slide and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon and you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to view enable the guides now let's add some flowers go to insert shapes i'm going to select the rounded corner rectangle draw the rounded corner rectangle maybe this much size and you can see a small orange point just drag this inside so it becomes a fully a curved one let me just reduce the size a little bit all right then outline make it no outline then align center align middle and I'm going to duplicate by pressing Ctrl D. You can see here, and this also I'm going to align center and align middle. Then uh, using the Alt and the right arrow key, I'm just going to rotate the shape. So just Alt and right arrow key, maybe two times I'm going to press. Again, press Ctrl D, again two times. So likewise, I just need to repeat this till I get the flower shape. All right, so you can see here I got the shape. Now I can select all. Then I can go to format. If you're using the older version of PowerPoint, uh, then the merge shape is not available. But if you're using the latest version, it is available. For those who are not using the, uh, who are using the older version, they can simply group it, right mouse click and group it. Or those who are using the latest version, they can just make it union. So it becomes one shape, something like this. And then go to insert shapes. I'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to give some light color gray color and exactly put it in the center you can see something like this then i'm going to select these both shapes and then i'm just going to move this aside for my later use now let me add a branch here for that go to insert shapes and from the basic shapes I'm going to select a triangle draw a triangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give any brown color then go to rotate I can rotate right 90 degrees I can put in the center increase the size till this much you can see here now I want to give it a curve shape for that I'm going to right mouse click go to edit points you can see here so the top point I'm just going to select and this one just drag it up you can see here maybe this much size and again select this and this small point I'm going to drag it up all right so and then this point I'm going to drag it down you can see here how much down you need and this also I'm going to make it down so we end up getting a shape something like this you can see here i can just place it here and then what i'm going to do i'm going to select these flowers let me just group this and bring it here bring to front reduce the size hold the shift key and reduce the size so depending on your requirement either you can increase or decrease the size i'm going to place randomly you can see here how much you need you can just add it and later on we can reduce the size also not a problem so i'm just going to add maybe only five flowers and later on we can add it now i want to add some leaves also but before that i want to add one more shape again go to insert shapes select the triangle shape outline make it no outline shape fill the same color again right mouse click edit points and i'm just going to drag this like this you can see here all right then i'm going to reduce the size rotate it and then just add it like this let me just increase a little bit so that i'm going to add the the leaves on this 
so let me just rotate it you can see here so depending on your requirement you can add as many as you want Control D if you want you can just reduce the size also and here also I'm just going to add few more at the top So you can see here our basic design is ready it's now time to add the the leaf shapes now let's add uh, leaves for that I'm going to add a new slide you can see here let me just delete this sorry let me just delete this then there are two ways actually you can draw one the simplest ways you can just go to insert shapes and I'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape you can see here maybe this much size then shape outline make it no outline then right mouse click edit points let me just zoom in you can see this point i'm just going to select and just drag this both the square shapes inside you can see here something like this so this way you can make one uh, a leaf all right so this is the simplest way you can make it or the other way you can make it is go to insert shapes I'm going to select the right triangle draw the right triangle you can see here shape outline make it no outline then right mouse click edit points and then I'm just going to drag this you can see here something like this and then I'm going to select this press ctrl D go to rotate and flip horizontal and I'm going to attach it here let me just remove the guides let me just zoom in so now i'm going to add one oval shape at the bottom go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape you can hold the alt key so that you get the perfect cut here let me just make it no outline shape fill maybe i can give some different color send this to back and here you can see here from the right it is it's coming out so again i have to hold the alt key and I have to make sure that it is properly aligned so this is a time consuming process but once it's done it looks something like this all right I'm not going to select all these three go to format merge shapes and union okay so still I don't uh, I'm not that happy with that one but okay I can take this bring it here all right and then I'm going to give uh, some different color here I'm going to give some green color like this all right I can reduce the size also then what I'm going to do is I can just duplicate this go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape I'm going to cut this much part so I'm going to select the leaf then the oval shape merge shape and I'm going to make it subtract and I'm going to give some a lighter color here okay and then I'm just going to put the lighter color on this all right and i'm going to duplicate once again and i'm going to cut further again i'm going to use the alt sorry the oval shape select the shape first and this and subtract it and give more lighter color and then just put it here so you can see i've got three layers okay so let me just put it something like this or if you want you can do it in a different way also group this hold the shift key and then I'm just going to add something like this here Control D if you want to add some smaller one again you can just add it here right mouse click go to format shape and I'm going to give some uh, shadow effect also so likewise you can just duplicate this and then keep on adding the number of leaves you need you can increase the size also again you can see here I want to decrease the size a little bit control D send this to back or select this and bring to front all right so likewise you can add as many leaves as you want depending on your requirement so I'm going to add two here a smaller one all right again control D I want to add only one small here and a little bit bigger I need to make it and I'll put it here 
and this two I want to add it at the end you can see here so you can see here with this we have uh, completed our basic design now it's time to change the color of the flower so I'm just going to select and randomly I'm just going to choose some good colors for this all right you can see here I'm just going to choose one by one and maybe I can use some a dark purple also so you can see here the design is ready it's time to add the text here so go to insert text box and I'm going to type option a you can see here make it a good font any good font you can choose let me just select a uh, roboto for this or any other font of your choice reduce the size maybe 12 make it bold and i'm going to put it here you can see here and then you can add some detailed text at the bottom center align reduce the size to maybe 10.5 and then put it here again select both of this group it and start pasting one by one on each flower so you can see here something like this now if you want to do some basic animations you can add some basic animations to this so to add the animation first of all what we need to do is uh, we will select this uh, complete the flower groups the shapes and group it one by one you can see here i'm just selecting or i can just select this and this and group it you can see here by holding the shift key i'm just grouping it now i'm going to select the main branch go to the animations animation pane add animation i'm going to give a wipe effect you can see here wipe i will say from left so it comes something like this you can see here then i want each flower to come so i'm going to use a basic zoom so you can see here and that should happen after previous or on click also not a problem so depending on how fast you need you can just add it so now just double click the animation painter you can see here you can press the escape key now if i play it comes something like this likewise uh, you can add this one for the wipe effect again wipe make it from uh, top so it comes something like this and again if you want after previous with previous it's up to you so again for this i'm going to use the same animation which is this one and this should happen maybe with previous or maybe as a delay so if i play you can see here it comes something like this so you can just do the same animation to the rest of the the leaves